Who I want to address the comments of Donald Trump. We called him out for when in 2016 he himself proclaimed accurately that the Saudis were behind 9-11. It wasn't the Iraqis, it was the Saudis. Who blew up the World Trade Center? It wasn't the Iraqis, it was Saudi. I mean, take a look at Saudi Arabia, open the documents. We ought to get Bush or somebody to have the documents opened because frankly, if you open the documents, I think you're going to see that it was Saudi Arabia. We called him out about how he met with me and a number of us standing behind me. He met with us in the White House in 2019. We begged and pleaded for justice. The President of the United States has the power and capacity to declassify documents. He said he was going to help us. He said, you're right, you're right in your pursuit. Keep going, keep pushing, keep declassifying, keep fighting. I'm with you. Less than 24 hours later, his Attorney General, Bill Barr, invoked what's known as the state secrets principle against us. The President looked me in the eyes and said, yes, I'm going to help you, and I'm going to help the families. The next day, his administration then declared those same documents, these, state secrets. We now have the documents, thanks to President Biden. It is those documents which we now have, those documents which took a presidential order from Biden to unwind the state secrets principle. Former president, two days ago, claimed that he doesn't know about our outrage and he doesn't know who was behind 9-11. Well, nobody's gotten to the bottom of 9-11, unfortunately. That is the worst feeling that these family members can get when we're not even getting through to a former president. That is the worst, worst form of greed and worst form of evil. The golfers and the former president are cowards. We now know that over a dozen Saudi government officials were involved in facilitating the 9-11 attacks. One of these individuals was working as a Saudi intelligence operative. In an interview in 2016, Mr. Trump himself concluded correctly when he said that Saudi Arabia was behind the attacks. We now have the FBI documents to prove him right, and amazingly, he's the one hosting and profiting from the Saudis, all while they stand trial in federal court for their role in the murder of 3,000 Americans. So let me finish with one question. How much money does it take to turn your back on your country, on the American people? Well, according to certain individuals, such as Phil Mickelson, Brooks Kepka, Bryson DeChambeau, Dustin Johnson, and Donald Trump, that amount of money is just a few hundred million dollars. My name is Eddie Bracken. What I think about 9-11, that day I went to work like my sister did in the World Trade Center working for Aon. I went to work in the Javits Center as a carpenter for the New York, City, New York City District Council of Carpenters. And I'm still there. But every day I look out that window and that tower's not there, I remind me of my sister going to work as her kids went to school and she asked for a boss for his first day off. And he said no. You can come in the morning and you can leave in the afternoon, but we know that never happened. 21 years later, we're still fighting the good fight. President after president, President Trump said that he would do the right thing. He hasn't done the right thing since, and he ain't going to do the right thing now because it shows it. He has the Saudi government taking money to golfers for live. It's our lives. We live. They don't. They killed our families. So I have to tell you something, Mr. Trump. You're not my president. And you never will be because you just desecrated my sister's words of life. And all the families that died in 9-11, you should be ashamed of yourself. But more importantly, I don't have to worry because you have to meet the maker one day and God will know what you did. As for the Saudis, you know what you do. You turn around and you finance and finance and finance any which way you can to propaganda or terrorize or finance to kill the American way of life. Well, I stand here today to tell you you did uh, Eddie right here used to be a big Trump supporter. No longer. And Mr. Trump, you're never going to be voted in again by me or any of my family members ever. So good luck and good riddance. Simply, you lied to our face and you've continued your bullshit comments as recently as yesterday in your ESPN interview. It's simple. The Saudis did it. They plotted it. They funded it. And now they're trying to distract every one of those sins with a golf tournament in the kingdom. In 2016, the Saudi Arabian government paid unwitting U.S. veterans tens of thousands of dollars to lobby against the Justice Against Sponsored of Terrorism Act, a law that the victims of the, the, a law allowing the victims of September 11th to sue the Saudi government. These veterans unknowingly were being paid to be puppets of the Saudi Arabian government.
giving talking points and marching orders, much like what we are seeing today with the golfers playing at the tournament down the street. This is not a clever PR stunt by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Lib tournament was conceived to be a strategic propaganda tool designed to change public perspective on a country known for its human rights violations, pushing the militant version of Islam called Wahhabism, while also being responsible for the worst terrorist attack in U.S. history.